Hi you guys, this is Nicole again from Spiritual Thoughts. And today I'm here to talk about a super requested subject, which is opening your third eye. So this video won't be about how to open your third eye, but why I think it's a good idea for you to really assess why you want to open your third eye and some of the dangers that are actually associated with opening your third eye. So most people on the internet nowadays want to brag about having an open third eye or aligned chakras or being woke as it's called nowadays and while I think that this is a good thing I do think that trying to open your third eye without really knowing what it is and what will happen to you can be seriously dangerous scary and frightening and a lot of people just straight up are not ready to have their third eye opened. So I had a personal friend of mine who didn't know a lot about spirituality and at the time neither did I. We were very young and we barely knew anything about spirituality and she went and did some sort of third eye meditation. I'm not sure exactly what she did. I know that she was staring at herself in the mirror and really trying to open her third eye, doing a meditation for it, asking for her third eye to be opened. And she had told me that for about a week after that, she had intense throbbing pain in her forehead. She was feeling energy so intensely that it was almost uncomfortable for her. And just her sensitivity to things like light, sound, emotions, energy was so heightened that it was uncomfortable for her. And just because of the place that she was at spiritually, she was not ready to open her third eye like that. And long story short, we ended up going to a park by the ocean and grounding her and she shed some of that excess energy off of her. And I remember holding my hand like this up to her forehead and physically feeling the energy pulsating out of her third eye like she was being drained of her energy. So uh, something that can happen when you prematurely open your third eye forcefully is your vital life energy can leak out through your third eye. And that is what I truly believe was happening with her. Grounding herself really helped and she ended up being completely fine. But just some of the dangers of opening your third eye often go really unnoticed and untalked about. And opening your third eye is only seen as a good thing. Which I will do a video on the positive sides of opening your third eye. How to do it when you're ready. How to know if you're ready. But this video is going to be simply a warning. <laughs> So some of the actual dangers of opening your third eye are, like I mentioned with my other friend, you can experience headaches, heightened sensitivity to basically anything, uncomfortable sensations, physical and mental. You can experience lots of anxiety attacks, bouts of depression, sadness, a feeling like you don't know where you belong. And one of the most dangerous parts, I think, is that without the knowledge of your third eye being open and the proper care and techniques of doing it, your actual life force energy can drain out through your third eye like I mentioned before. This is extremely dangerous and if you're not careful, it can actually leak out onto other people and it can contaminate their energy if they haven't protected themselves against it. For all the people that are asking me how to open your third eye, I just really recommend not forcing it, just letting it happen naturally on its own through your life experiences. If you have to sit there and think about how to open your third eye and force it open, that just means that it's not ready to be opened that much and it could be a very dangerous thing for you to go and fuck around with those energies and try and force open your third eye. Another thing I'd like to touch on on this video is psychedelics and the third eye. And a lot of people ask me about psychedelics and how that can help them be more spiritually awakened or woke. And to be honest, I do not think that you need psychedelics to open your third eye or be spiritual at all. If anything, I think that psychedelics open your third eye so forcefully, it basically rips it open before you're ready, and this can be a really terrifying experience for some people. 
I mean, most people experience it as blissful and euphoria and visions and a higher understanding, but just make sure that you know what you're getting into when doing any kind of psychedelic, whether it's with the intention to open your third eye or not, just know that that's what it's going to do and if you're not ready for it, it can be a frightening experience that can lead on for months and months after your trip ends. So always protect your energy, always think about things before you do them, and be safe with your spiritual self. Don't just open your third eye to be woke or cool to brag to people that you have all of your chakras aligned and all of this other bullshit that really doesn't matter. What matters is you and how you feel and if you feel good about yourself and you feel that you're learning at a good pace and you are awakening at a good pace for you, that's all that matters. Don't do it for anything else but yourself. So with that, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment with your thoughts on this and any of your personal experiences with opening the third eye and any side effects that happen to you. Sending you all of my love, and I'll see you in the next one.